So I've had a history with pencil cases involving this one and this one and this one. And none of them have been quite the right fit for me. But today I'm gonna to be reviewing an amazing pencil case that I found off of Amazon that can hold a ton of your supplies and looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. So let's begin. All right, so let's go through our pencil cases. First of all, we have this one. The one that pretty much everybody has at school. The one where the fabric is completely all over the place. You have this mesh pocket that's see-through. You have the three traditional holes to put into your binder. And then you have this one big pocket. And then you got one small pocket. And that's all there is to it. No other fancier pockets, nothing to really organize your pencil case yet. And then I upgraded to this one, but I wouldn't really call it an upgrade. This is the OK Nice Day pencil case. And why I got it was because of this unique aspect of it where it clips so that it can supposedly stand on your desk. Now, once you fill it up, it really does not stand. But the cool thing about this was it had this little other mesh pocket that you can zip up and then it has a main pocket, which is pretty, pretty big, I guess, but it didn't hold eh, all my stationery. And then it has another mesh pocket and then got this big pocket. So it was an upgrade, but it didn't really have a ton of space. And then I discovered this brand. It was the Angu brand. Um, and I was, I was going through it when I was, when I was looking and I said, oh wow, this is pretty cool. So it has a front pocket where you can keep some stuff. I still have some stuff in here that I need to empty out. I didn't realize that. See, that's like, that's the cool part about this one. It has this pocket. Okay. Then it has a mesh pocket on the side. Keep some stuff. And it has a little elastic-y kind of band that you can slip through some of your pens and then another one in the back. And then here's where you're gonna keep some sticky notes just like I did or really whatever you feel. And another mesh pocket down here. And then here's the main case where you can keep most of your supplies. Now, this looks pretty big, but really it is not. It barely fits anything. So I didn't get much storage, though this was pretty aesthetically pleasing. It didn't give me exactly what I wanted. And then it brings me to this one. Now I just got this off of Amazon, so let me remove this. This is exactly what it came in. Of course it came in the Amazon packaging, but then it was just this for extra protection and that's it. So on the front, and you can, by the way, you can get it in different colors. I decided to get the cyan or, no, I'm pretty sure it's cyan color. Um, I thought it was really pretty, um, but there are different colors, greens, darker blues, blacks, grays, whatever you want, um, purples. It's really cool. It has a, an assortment of colors. So this is what it has on the front is something that I really found to be special. And it says special. It's funny. So it says be young. Get it to focus. Okay. So it says be young, be unique, special. You are one in a million. So sometimes that's all the motivation you need to really start your school day, get ready, um, and you know, have this by your side whenever you're at school. And so that's a good motivational piece. And so first of all, you have this pocket here where you can keep some of your supplies, which is amazing. And then once you open it up, it's literally the same as the other pencil case. So you have the mesh pocket right here. And the zipper is so much better, if I'm being honest. Um, so you have this mesh pocket. And then you have, again, you have this little tiny mesh pocket down here. And then you have slip holes for five of them. And then in the back, you, you don't have any space, which is a negative but a positive. The other one, when it had in the back, it was hard because if you wanted to slip something in there, it wouldn't close. So again, here, it's, just, it's actually, it looks smaller than the other one. But the cool part is you can see there's another zipper. So what you can do is, oh my gosh, 
you can take this zipper, you can unzip all of this, and then you can open it up to make it bigger and to hold more storage, which is something that is really, really, really cool. Like, I mean, look at how much space we have now. Like, isn't that crazy? We went from a transformation to such a tiny little pocket to this. So that's what I really appreciate about this pencil case. And if you don't need all the space, that's cool too. You can just zip it back up. But I definitely do. So that is literally the pencil case. You just zip it back up and you can obviously zip this part back up. I'm gonna keep it open because I'm gonna be using it like this. All right, so now on to the stationery. Now, this is everything that I have. Now, it looks like a lot, but actually 100 of the supplies in here are the Crayola Super Tips. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with those quite yet, but we'll get into that later. Let me show you how big this box is. Excuse the like black things that are gonna come up. That's the what I'm using to record, but this is how big this bucket is. And it's not full yet, but this is what I'm going to be trying to incorporate in. So, I'm gonna try and separate it and we'll see how this goes. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna take out all the highlighters. I think that's a good, or should we take out, I think I'm gonna take out all the, the Crayola Super Tips. I think that's probably best. So I'm gonna speed this part up and I'm gonna be taking out all the Crayola Super Tips. All right, so these are the colors that I decided to pick. Now it's really interesting, but I have a red, I have an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, a pink, a purple, and I did decide to put my black in here, but you're probably wondering where did all the other colors go? Because my desk is nice and neat and clear. Well, I'm about to show you. All right, so here they are. Now this is basically what my desk is. This is a sneak peek of stuff that's gonna come in other videos, but Basically, I just have all the rest of my super tips in this nice organizer, and then I have another cute little doggy cup. I think there was like a succulent in there, but I washed it off, and then I just added some of these in there. And then over to the side, this is like a quick sneak peek on my desk. It's just a stapler, headphones, calculator, mouse, pop it, whiteout, lead, uh, dry erase um, spray, and post-it notes, so that's really it. All right, so now we're gonna get more involved in the inside with this pencil case. So I'm gonna grab my big bin, and I'm just gonna put it on my desk to the side here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, and we're gonna get ready for the mesh pocket. Now, next year, I'm not sure, but I think I might need headphones. So I am gonna keep some headphones. These are just like normal headphones. Um, I'm going to try and roll them up nice and neat and then we'll see from there what we need. Oh my gosh. And so I'm not taking any type of art next year by the way so I don't think I'm going to add any colored pencils to this organization. And then of course you always need your white out. I'm gonna pick the one that's more full. So I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm gonna put my lead in here also. Oh my gosh, that should be good. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really want in here. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's really what I want in here. I'm just gonna close this up. And then I'm gonna leave this part here, these five slots. I have some other, um, excuse me, I have some other supplies coming for um, the Pilot G2, but I'm, I'm getting the juice one, so I do have the normal classic ones right here. I'm just gonna put these in this pocket just in case anybody like needs to borrow them. Or you know what? I'm just gonna keep my pilot ones since I'm getting the new ones. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to keep them at home. So let me just gather those out of my bucket really quick. All right, so I took out all the pilot ones and now I think for this 
like part, I'm gonna actually just put those, um, whatchamacallit, I think I'm just gonna put the uh, pilot pens. And then in this part, I'm gonna just put some sticky notes, nothing too fancy. Oh, and what I'm gonna add actually in my mesh pocket over here is I got some new washi tape, so I'm gonna pick out one just in case I wanna keep it. I'm gonna pick out a thin one. Should we just do the top one? It's purple. I think that's a cute one. I'm gonna go on more about this. So in the next video, if you see one, you'll know why. If you see one empty, you'll know why. So let's just add that into this mesh pocket. Oh, the zipper got tangled. I'll put that right here. I'm gonna squeeze it in. This this mesh pocket has some nice space in it, which is exactly what I need. So we're gonna fill those in later. Now onto this part. So obviously I'm gonna need scissors and a glow stick. So, but before we do any of that, I'm actually gonna put my calculator, my TI 30XA calculator down at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue stick, put it off to the side here and my scissors. Um, I think I'm, I have scissors, one second. All right, so I do have scissors that are like this. They have like a nice flowery pattern. So I'm just gonna put that right here. And then we're just gonna put some highlighters. So I do have my, <clears throat> my mild liner highlighters. I don't know what the rest of them are, honestly, you guys, but can find right now these four highlighters I pop them in here and I have my Sayara highlighters these are really big so we can drop them in here and then maybe later just remove them we'll have to see I don't need all four of them you know what I think I'm just gonna put the purple because that's the only color I don't have in highlighter and then of course we need pencils so I'm gonna grab two mechanical pencils. And of course, when it comes time for school, I will get more pencils. Um, and then once we have that, I think I'm just gonna take, let's see here. Another pencil I could use. And I'm just gonna put, four or five of the paper mate pens because those are always good to have. Oh, well, here's my retractable eraser. That I definitely want. Um, I have this cute gel pen. Um, it's like nice and starry pattern. That. So I have the paper mate and joy pens but I don't have them in gel. So they're just like normal ballpoint pens. Um, this is what they look like. They write just fine, but I don't think I want them in my pencil case. I think this is something that I will definitely use at home. Um, definitely need a Sharpie. Those are always good to have. And then let's pick out five. in here I think that might be all I want and so I pretty much emptied it um I'm definitely gonna put the rest of the supplies that I have to use let's just zip this up see if it zips up yes so it's pretty big you guys like oh my gosh it is really big it's okay so looks good um I do have some supplies left well, honestly, I'm going to sort that out right now, and I'll come back to you with the final 
um, of where I'm keeping everything. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath, so I just ran downstairs to the basement to find these two um, organizers to put the rest of my supplies in. And actually, the next organization project will be in the basement. Um, I do have an art area there that I used to film all my videos in, so I will be doing that soon. So let's just organize this and fast forward. All right, so we got buckets full, bins empty, and where's my and pencil case full. So we got a lot done today, including emptying three full pencil cases into a bin and sorting it all into here and making everything, literally I emptied this bucket and making everything fit. So let me give you a quick final review. All right, so, so to start it off, we have two um, bins. One, I have just all these pens and pencils. And then this other one has highlighters, some Posca pens, the Pilot G2 pens, whiteout, and colored pencils. And then in this bin here, we have a mouse, as I said before, tape, um, stapler, protractor, pop it, um, charging, charger, um, dry erase marker, eraser, and dry erase board um, spray. And then next, we got our amazing pencil case. Let me do like a really full final review of this at different angles. So here's what the pencil looks like. The pencil case looks like from um, a quick spin around. And then once we have, once we look at it from far, we have the colors at the top. I might be emptying some, switching them out. And then let's get into it. So, but once we open it, we got everything in our mesh pocket. Headphones, whiteout, lead, washi tape. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then we have these slots that are going to be open for our Pilot, Pilot G2 ink pens. Pilot G2 juice pens, excuse me. We have sticky notes. Then down here we got a calculator hiding. Glue stick. Scissors are hiding somewhere. Find them later. Some highlighters, paper mate pens, um, a Sharpie, a gel pen. So, you know, just this is kind of like your dump area. This is the stuff that you have in your main, main pocket. So, now over here we have our three empty pencil cases. Our Crayola Super Tips filled in the, in the back here. I didn't show you. I have some other headphones. I have a Jolly Rancher hiding. I have some other headphones. Aloe, I mean, um, some aloe cream. Uh, some extra lead binder clips and an eraser. I have some hand sanitizer. And then I have the rest of my Super Tips washi tape and a bullet journal so that's that thank you so much for watching this video we organized this pretty well and it looks so so amazing and i can't wait to start using this don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit that like button for this video turn on the notifications bell to get notified whenever i post a new video and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below um, I like to hear from you guys a lot on your opinions about my videos and any other recommendations for some stationery supplies or pencil cases that are more affordable. Um, this one was priced at around, I don't, I, I think it was around like $14, um, but I'll have to double check again. So for the stories that you get, guys, this is worth it. So um, I would definitely, definitely look into this. I am all about affordable supplies, but this was really worth it, and I really like, um, I really like the investment that I made in this because I am definitely, definitely going to be using this more. It has not disappointed me at all in the last 20 minutes that I've been using it. Um, don't forget to share this video to someone who might be interested. And um, yeah, thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye.